Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E.H.E. the reason you see me. On this day, when P. Diddy is walking into a courtroom in New York to plead not guilty on sex trafficking and racketeering charges, hip-hop music industry vet Kevin Lyles is resigning from his Warner Music Group executive VP gig. I am reading from a story right here online on TMZ. On Tuesday, Lyle sent a company memo announcing his resignation as chairman and CEO of Warner Brothers 300 Electra Entertainment chairman, passing the torch to some seasoned vets. The next paragraph, ladies and gentlemen, here's what it says. Lyle's has been with Warner since 2004, which formerly housed Diddy's Bad Boy Records. And he's been vocal defending the mounds of allegations against Puffy. That's what it said. So it's not me talking. Every time I've met Kevin Lyle, has been incredibly nice to me. I don't know anything about any of this stuff. What I do know is that they're attaching his name to P. Diddy. You should never speak on two other men's business. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, but all, all I can tell you is yo, 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 Hey man, check it, man. Uh, make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel. Um, I basically, you know, yesterday I kind of gave it a risk. This Diddy thing is just keeps going and keeps going. I know it's going to be a reporting thing to where we're going to talk about this for weeks to come. Will Diddy get out? We, d I did talk about the last time that his bail was pretty much, you know, he tried to offer 50 million that they didn't do it. They was like, no, we ain't, we don't want 50 million. You know, um, it's crazy, man. Um, listening to that Stephen A, listen at all the, all the bloggers, everybody, man. Diddy is, is definitely in a lot of trouble, man. Um, a lot of people was, uh, pretty much hit by this. I believe it's more to come. I, I really believe that. Um, but why, why did Kevin Lyles take off running? What made him resign on the day that Diddy um, pretty much was being, uh, you know, pretty much arrested? Why did he step down from 300? This is why you have these people looking like, what the heck happened? Then, as you heard Stephen A. just say, they implicated his name along with Diddy's because as in his former position with Warren now uh, that he's about to step down on uh, in a few a week or so now, it, he's he's uh, pretty much been taken up for P Diddy. Um, do you guys feel like P Diddy uh, and 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 Kevin Lyle's got more things that's going to unfold? You can look at it and tell the way that they're looking at this thing, man. When you start to read the way he exited, all this stuff becomes a thing. He says right here where he, he uh, definitely tweeted out, and it was on K, uh, TMZ and all kind of stuff, that after a decade, it's time to pass the torch. He says on September 30th, I'll be departing 3EE and WMG and our incredibly uh, talented homegrown leaders. He says, Rena Bass and Salem Bayeb, as well as the outstanding Greg Nadal, have my blessings for the future. Um, like I said, it's, it's to me, you know, it's just very, very closely knitted to what has happened with P. Diddy. Everybody is saying it. Everybody. And they, they saying this is just the first of many. There's a lot of people are putting a lot of names out there. And, you know, we don't know who all was on these tapes that was implicated. They picked up computers. They picked up, they just talking about the oil and the guns now, but they got a lot of electronics out of there that they're not really identifying exactly what they got on those electronics. But do you guys think that Kevin Lyle is in some of these uh, uh, videos? Do you guys feel like because they were so closely knitted that he felt like the house is on fire, I'm jumping out the window? Why did Kevin Lyle take off running? This is the whole game right here. Why has he decide, decided, I don't want to deal with this no more? Could it be that he's, you know, pretty much attached to this whole situation and that there's going to be a situation where he's going to have to, you know, step up and be in court and all that? They're talking about a RICO charge. They're talking about some stuff that these guys are not ready for. Homeland Security, everybody is pretty much, um, they're, hey, hey, they're, they, they got their man now. Now we're about to see what they really got. 
But there's some stuff that they really got. When you start to look at Diddy, when you start to look at all the people that was at his house, there was a lot of people. I seen those people at his house. You seen those people at his parties. Diddy was one of the main people having parties. It was Diddy, uh, Jamie Foxx. You would hear about these big parties that everybody was having back in the days. All of this stuff is coming back now. Um, it's funny to me, though, because Epstein just went through the same thing. And the people that was at his parties, you don't hear nothing about them, do you? Where, I mean, it was a lot of people being spoke on. I believe they spoke Oprah. They was, they pictures were flowing. The same type of flow was going on that's going on now. But what do we have here? He all of a sudden's out the picture. Nobody else is in trouble no more. What happened to the, those people that was implicated during that time with that process? That's something to think about. Get in the comments, let me know what happened to those people. Was this a thing where it was some stuff swept under the rug? What happened? So when it comes down to Diddy, guys, what do you guys think is going to be the end results of this? The, Cassie is the one that pretty much uh, got the ball rolling because of what she been through. They come out later on saying, now Diddy's lawyer trying to say it was a cell phone she took and all that. No, it don't take all that to get a cell phone back. Even if you're upset about your cell phone, it was a little more to it than that. So that lawyer, that's some hogwash. There's more to it than that. So you're going to have to, we, listen, we're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe when it comes down to what Diddy was doing in that video when it clearly shows us what was happening. And like I said, Cassie was, you know, we, hey, Cassie, uh, that part of that, with that video, I don't know what else they went through before that, but that was uncalled for and it was foul because she's such a small frame woman. There's no reason to even do that, bro. And even if she was bigger frame, whatever, but the case, maybe she's a woman. So I don't agree with that. But this Kevin Lyles taking off running like he has done, he's running full speed now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what is, what does, what happened with Kevin Lyles and P. Diddy? Get in the comments. Let me know. Is he a part of this whole thing? He stepped down from one in 300 for a reason. Why? That's something we need to we need to we need to know why. So, guys, let me know. Do you feel like what was the reason for him taking off running like he's doing, resigning, doing it? he been over there forever, for decades. And all of a sudden now it's time to go. I, hey, it's time to go. So, like I said, man. Uh, a lot of music. I think, like I said, the old way is leaving anyway. The independent wave is what everybody is on now anyway. I just don't see a distribution company is more empowered than a, a, a label because they're, everybody's running out, getting their own distribution, handling their own business, guys. So this just the music. This just going to show you the transition. And, I, and, and I'll leave you guys with this, man. When, when Moses wouldn't go into the promised land, he let all of them die out and he let... The, the children of Israel going to the promised land. It's a dying out time is happening right now when it comes to the music industry. And I know that you guys can see that. And now these people are going to be pushed around and pushed and the new wave of how music will be ushered in is going to be the next thing. Watch what I tell you, man. Guys, let us know what you think about Kevin Lyle. Why did he take off running, man? Boss Talk 101 want to know. Man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, become members. You, hey, we got some dope interviews coming out this week. So, uh, I mean, we already, at the end of the week, this week, next week, we've been working. So, Boss Talk 101, man. Boss Talk 101 reviews. Just tapping in. What a boss's talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.